Hi, welcome to, um, I almost said Rise and Shine. This is Yoga Express, totally different. As in 1.30 and 1.45 minutes. So, welcome to class. Let's get started. As always, a couple minutes in the position of your choice. Whatever makes you happy. I always have some water. Got my socks to put on when my feet get cold. <clears throat> and welcome to class. My name is Jen. If we haven't met before, hi. I'm going to lead you through a quick little yoga flow. So we don't do anything super hardcore. I don't want you to feel like you're going to get sweaty and have to change your clothes or anything like that. It's, this is just a, hey, it's run shine depending on where you are in the world. And you just want to give yourself a little bit of movement. So whatever you're wearing, just slip off your socks, throw your mat down, and let's go. I mean, you can do it in your socks too, but I always feel like I can't get enough grip, so I take my socks off. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to spend a couple, about another minute just quiet, chill, breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Think about anything else. Or don't think about anything else, I should say. Take five more breaths. Let's do it together. Just take a rest and you know, give us some nice little rolls. I've had a request because it is holiday week for a lot of people. They want kind of the, the low back stretch. They want the forearm stretches. They want the stress relief. So we're going to do that today. Other side. You ask and you shall receive. Remember, there's still going to be a yin on Friday. It's just going to be a recorded yin, so take advantage. All right, take those hands, put them on the ground. So if you're not sitting up, sit up. You should say number one. Number two, let's take those hands, push them on the ground, palms down, fingers back behind you, and I'm just going to lean in or lean out until I feel a stretch on this inner part of my arm. And then release, put your hands in front, take one arm all the way up. And switch it up, other side. Release, put both hands on the ground. I'm just going to lean one way so one arm is straight. These are called archer push-ups. If you do them in actual push-up form, we're not going to do that today. Don't worry. And then let's go the other way. Come to the center. Walk those hands forward. Lean down.
come up. We're going to do that again. I'm going to turn and face this way. So we're going to lean in one way. Straight, one arm straight, one arm is bent. And the other way. Come to the center in both hands and arms. Walk those hands back. Now we're going to make an X. So cross one arm under the other and bring those arms in front. And then come up and switch those arms, other X. Again, so I can see your lovely faces, even though I really can't. One arm up at a diagonal, really stretching and pulling back. And then bring it across. And bring it down. Let's bring it up. Cross and down. Other side. Up. Middle. Pulling back. And down. And up. Middle and down. Release, shake it out, do some shoulder rolls. Other way. Give yourself a giant hug, lift those elbows up. And release. Other side. Lift those elbows up. And release them. Come up and over the top. Other way. Up and over the top. Release. If you have a prop like I am, I'm going to grip. We're going to put it off to the side, and then I'm going to come into a downward dog. Because it's our first one, and because we've done nothing with the lower body so far, take your time, pedal it out, get comfortable, enjoy it, and then we'll find the stillness. So. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Stretch out those feet, stretch out those calves. And then find some stillness. And then walk those feet to meet the hands. Hang here for a second. And then slowly roll up to standing. Making any adjustments that you need to make. And then having your feet nice and wide, toes pointed out. So we're going to take our hands, put them on our waist. We're going to lean forward. And then when we're situated, we're going to drop our hands and see if we can touch the ground. Now we can also obviously have a, a prop here to bring the ground to us, but I'm just going to spread my feet a little wider until I can reach the ground and have as straight of a back as I can. I'm going to hold here. I'm going to try to release my hips as much as they can. I'm going to 
to roll up. I still need to put my hands on my hips to help, that's fine. I'm going to open myself up like a giant X or a giant star. Pull those shoulder blades back. And then I lean forward and go back and stretch one more time. Will I be able to stretch longer, deeper, more intensely? Maybe. Let's try it out. Three more breaths. Let's bring those feet in a little bit and roll it on up. So our feet are still wide, but we're back up now. All right, so let's lean in. This knee is bent. This leg is straight. Then we're going to switch sides. So come back to the center. Shake it out. One arm out, lean on back, bring that hand to the inside of the thigh or the leg. This hand can be hanging out or it can be back in a little bit of a bind like I'm trying to grab my waist on the other side. Come back to the center, other side. Let's lean in, drop that hand, and then decide where the other arm lives. And then release, come up, shake it out. Now you can either stay what we just did or you can add the upper arm. So the upper arm is just gonna go straight up so our shoulders are stacked on top of shoulders. But if you want, you can go back to what we're doing before. Just make sure that you're, you're really opening up that chest. All right, so let's lean in, bring that hand down and let's open up if we are going to do so. We can look forward or we can look up towards the sky. Roll it up. Ready for the other side? Let's lean in. Bring that hand down and open up. And then come up. Shake it out. All right now we're going to switch the legs a little bit. This one's going to be bent. This one's going to be straight. So we're leaning in. Now switch sides. All right, come back to the center. Let's take this forearm and put it on top of this bent knee. So we're coming down, we're on that thigh, and then that hand can be hanging out, it can be back behind, opening up that chest as much as we can. Other side. Bend that knee. Shoulders on top of shoulders as much as we can. Release and come up. And then we're going to do the arm up or the arm up and over. You can decide, or they can be back behind. No worries, you pick what you need to do. Let's just lean in. Let's bring that hand, forearm down, and let's bring that arm up or up and over. Come up. Last time, other side, lean in. Forearm up, support it. Or up and over. And release 
knees come back up. Let's heel toe those feet in. And then come back to just standing up nice and tall. Shoulders back and down. Lovely little mountain pose. All right, let's turn and face the front of our mat. We can be in the middle or we can be towards the front, either one. Let's pick one leg, bring it in front, and one leg, bring it back. Doesn't matter which one because we're gonna do both. Make sure that your legs are spread nice and wide so you are on railroad tracks, not a balanced beam, and that all toes are facing forward. Right now, I feel an incredible stretch on the back of my calf. It is not painful, but I do feel a stretch because that's how far I am leaning. So I would like you to do something similar if you kind of can, if it's comfortable for you. So now I'm gonna bend that back knee. I'm gonna bend that front knee and I'm gonna hold here. And then I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna do that again and bring my arms straight up in the air. Okay, let's lean forward. A little bend in each knee. Now, so instead of feeling that stretch in the calf, we're feeling a little different, a little lower. And release, okay, shake it out. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So bring that other leg back, railroad tracks, feeling a stretch in the back leg, in the calf, it's not painful, but I feel it. And even if we're doing more like relaxing, kind of setting up, we're still benefiting from it. All right, so let's lean in, bend the front knee, bend the back knee, all toes are facing forward. And then release, and then we're gonna add in those arms. Let's come up, lean on in. And then release, bring those feet to touch. Bring those arms up, back bend. Enjoy it here. And then swan back down. Bend those knees, hands on the ground. Come back to plank, holding it for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Lowering nice and slowly. All right, when you're down on the ground, we're gonna lay on one side. <clears throat> we're gonna do three planks. We're gonna do a 10 second plank. We're gonna do a 20 second plank. And we're gonna do a 30 second plank on each side. You can decide, are your knees stacked? Are your feet stacked? Are your feet wide? You can totally decide what works best for you. Okay? <clears throat> We're gonna do all of them on one side and then switch to do them all on the other, okay? So I'm folding over my mat, I'm getting comfortable. Why, why not? And I'm gonna divide the weight as much as I can in my forearm, even though it is very easy to just put all that weight into the elbow. Just, I know it's hard, just, just try your best. All right, and then that top arm can either be up like it was when we were standing or I can be in this little bind, whatever you feel like you need to do. And if you start with one position for the Side plank, you need to switch, please do so. All right, let's begin in three, two, one. Let's lift for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come down, give you about 10 seconds or so to recover. If you need to grab a drink, great time. I will count out every 10 seconds worth. Um, so if you don't want to do all 20, you want to do 10, I'll let you know. All right, you ready for round number two, the 20 second round? Let's go in three, two, one, and lift. One. Ten. Nineteen, twenty. You're up there. Take it. 
take some time, stretch out, shake it out. We have one more round on this side, the 30 second round. Maybe you start with your legs stacked and you drop down to your knees, that's fine. Just try to match on the other side, whatever you do on this side. So just remember what you're doing. All right, 30 seconds. Oh, last round on this side. We have three, we have two, we have one, we have lift, one. Ten. Twenty. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Drop it down. All right, you know the drill. We did the one on one side, and then we gotta do it on the other. 10 seconds is going to feel really nice and short and sweet. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, are you ready? You good to go? Let's lift in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it down. Feel all right? This is either your good side or your bad side, depending. And even if I can like, oh, this is my bad side over here, or this is my good side over here, and then I'm like, realize, oh, no, actually, this was my good side. So even if you think you know, you may not know today. All right, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, and lift for one. Ten. Nineteen, twenty, and drop it down. Oh, take your time. One more, and then we'll cool it down. Shake that arm out. All right, you ready? Let's get it done. Get yourself situated in three and two. And one, and lift, one, ten, twenty, seven, Nine, ten, drop it down. Lay on your back. Oh, squeeze your knees in. And just we'll rock and roll. Bring that heart rate down. And then drop those feet. Open those knees and give any uh, heat chance to escape. Hands can be on your belly or out, open to the side. Let's bring those knees in. And then bring the knees and bring the feet out. Walk those feet in, drop those knees to one side, look over the opposite shoulder, and let's bring those arms out. Through center, other side. OK, 
come through center, give those knees a big squeeze, and bring your nose up, making yourself into a big ball. And then release, set yourself up for your Shavasana, whatever that means for you. I'm gonna stick some socks on so my toes don't get too cold, because I am in the basement. But if that means grabbing a sweatshirt, grabbing a blanket, transitioning to your bed. Maybe you worked third shift and you need a good nap, so you're going to transition to your bed and go right into that nap. Maybe you're not working today and you're, you're taking a nap. Naps are a good thing. All right, so set yourself up. For success, tuck your shoulder blades under, let those feet flop out to the side and palms up. We are going to end class here in Shavasana. I will let you know when our time is up, so feel free to let your mind wander, worry about your breath, and nothing else. It is officially 1245, so if you want to stay here, stay here, relax, enjoy yourself, take your time coming back into the realm of society again. Otherwise, you can slowly bat your eyes open, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, roll onto your side, and push yourself up. Thank you for coming to class with me today. Very, um... There will be a recorded Rise and Shine and a recorded Yin on Thursday and Friday this week. But otherwise, I'll see you next Tuesday.